So this is a voltage controlled character display based on the illuminated lamp board of an Enigma cipher machine, famously broken at Bletchley Park with help from the Turing Welchman bomb. It's a bit of an unusual Eurac module because it doesn't make any sound of its own. It's purely a visual display. It's part of a series of modules exploring early computers and telecommunications like this paper tape reader, relay switch and Vernum cipher machine. It's very simple, it's got one voltage control input and a buffered through output so you can just continue your patch through the module to another one. The voltage control is scaled to one volt per octave, or in this case, one volt equals 12 characters, with each character being assigned to a semitone. So if you play chromatically up the keyboard, it will select each character in sequence. Those characters are encoded in an either an alphabetical order, or in the international teletype alphabet. That will get a lot more interesting once we're reading voltages off of paper tape. That's selected on the back of the module with choice of two sets of D multiplexer IC sockets. Of course, the real Enigma machine didn't send or receive any signals. It was purely an electromechanical enciphering machine. One operator would push a key on the keyboard and that would go through the series of cogs and wires and light up the enciphered character on the lamp board, which was noted down on a piece of paper. And once they had the whole message out that was sent via Morse code and there's a little nod to that on the back of the panel. Of course you don't just have to use this with a keyboard controller you can send all sorts of signals into this control input. Here I'm sending in a triangle wave and it's going through a VCA so I can decrease the amplitude of that wave and it will only be lighting up one character as it goes up and down in voltage. Now increase the frequency of that waveform and it's going on and off so quickly that it looks like the A is just constantly lit. So now I can increase the amplitude of the waveform and it will light up the other letters in sequence as the peak amplitude voltage goes up. And then turn down the frequency again and you get this lovely effect. Now I've got the output of this sequencer plugged into the CV input and coming out of the through output that goes into the CV input of a VCO and if I turn up the CV What's cool about putting your CV signals through this board is that it gets you to think about a different way of constructing melodies. Instead of thinking about scales, you think about characters. So why don't I make a melody that's spelt from the word hack? Okay, let's play another fun game. I happen to have a Music Thing Modular chewing machine, appropriately, and this sends out random voltages. So I'm clocking this steady enough so that I can note this down on paper. And let's see what kind of poetry we can get out of this. Well, I don't think we're gonna win any awards. <laughs> But this is like that infinite monkey theorem, and I'm sure if you had infinite Turing machines lighting up infinite Enigma boards, we would eventually write out the entire works of Shakespeare. And this is exactly the kind of stuff that the code breakers used to do, write everything out and start looking for patterns. You can even send in audio and use it like a VU meter. <laughs> Get your hands on the lamp board, check the links below, where you can also get these little Enigma badges, which make nice key rings, if nothing else. The Patreon supports projects like this, and you'll find loads more details there about the lamp board, including a circuit breakdown. I'm excited to see how people use these, and I think once we get a few more projects out, you'll see where it fits in in the big picture.